game. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. Mm. You should meet my father. Mm, fair oh, enough. people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. Buddy, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be continuing Re Red Dead. Um, I am pretty sure today is going to be the last episode. Um, if not today, I feel like within the next two, I don't think we have much longer. At least from what I know, because I know this game isn't that long. We've already played a good maybe 10 hours or so roughly. Maybe a little bit more. But yeah, I feel like we are pretty close to being done. And the next game will be um, Life is Strange 3. Uh, well, I think they just call it Life is Strange True Colors. So it's not technically 3, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing that one after this. Um, I'm not. If this is the last episode, you'll probably only see one video this week. And then the following week, I will start the game, the gameplay for True Colors. But yeah, that was a long intro. Let's just hop right into the game. Make sure you subscribe, turn notifications, and I hope you are enjoying the series so far. And like I said, please subscribe. I would like to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Um, I am currently at 550, so about 450 left. So like I said, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let's just hop right into it. All right. Um. Okay, we'll go to the. Have it. Is pretty sure back then, something like that, someone would be getting hung. I don't know who. Howdy. Um, but yeah, she's cooking. Ooh, what are you making? Uh, I honestly cannot tell. Probably some type of soup. She went to cooking class, I think, or school or whatever. So it must be she must be pretty good by now. She's been gone for quite a while. All right. So I'm thinking it's out here. Yep. What you cooking? Oh, she is cooking. Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Fair enough. Be honest though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Yeah, it didn't look Given it didn't look good from what we what saw. We came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running an those gang though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government, and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Come on. Scat. Shh. Okay, we gotta go kill the crows.
Oh, the frick do I? Whoa, 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 whoa. These guns are terrible. Oh, I think I failed. Obviously, right? Okay, scare the crows out of the... Okay. Oh Lord. How much more can I scare him? I lost too much corn. No, really? What else can I do? God dang it. There we go. Why don't they shut the door? Or the gate, or whatever they want to call it. Alright. Oh, we're over here. Might as well do another Abigail. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. Oh, my God. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. What year is this? This is what? The 1900s, you read right? that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Or at late 1800s, still. Dear Mr. Marston. Stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. 
Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> John, wait! I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Why? What are you waiting for? You better hurry. Oh, I hate when it's timed. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off comporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Martin. I never took you for the jealous type mm, turn and right. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save her life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Uh, Bill? I wonder if Harvey Urban uh, got hung yet. I'm assuming he's gonna get hung, right? Bill weren't so bad, but the Dutch went crazy. Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But there was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. Forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sorry. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. Mm. You should meet my father. Fair oh, enough. people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
Did mention him getting kidnapped. I was really hoping they were gonna somehow mention Arthur in this, but I don't know if Arthur was a person during this when they made it, you know. I swear there was an uncle mission on here. Five a.m. to six p.m. Of course. Gotta hate those like time slot things. Still dark. Oh, it must be cold. I just saw his breath. How are you? Should be about time, right? Yeah. Seriously. Oh, is he just just walking out here maybe? Okay, I'll wait right here for a second. Yeah, he must be walking over there right now. Come on, boy. Oh, 
Oh, thunder. Please don't have the power go out. That would suck. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is thundering like crazy right now. No, well, it stopped. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I'd forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Take your time. Take your time. When did we get a dog? Come on, let's go. I don't remember us having a dog in Red Dead 2. Did we have one? We had to have. When he finds something, Rufus. you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? This part I looks familiar. Sorry. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Let's go. There's no time I feel like man. Rufus is probably one of the most famous dog names ever. I swear, almost like every, seems like every other dog in a movie, is, movie or show is named Rufus. Or is it just me? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Jack, he's on to something. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Come on. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. That dog barking. All right, let me. Blind? Oh, there you are. Come on, I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. But why don't you just keep the meat and? Eat it. Hope you were watching. It'll I mean, I guess so. It isn't bad, but like still, 
Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. your turn. I didn't have to add the blood splattering on the what, what, the camera or whatever on the screen. I mean, I feel like they didn't need to add that, nice but they work, did. Son. You're a quick learner. Now come on, let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. How is that my problem? Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post. Bro, that oh that was so stupid. That was he I didn't even do anything. Not my fault he doesn't know how to ride a horse. What happened to the dog? Did we like send the dog home or something? Must be home. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stew and pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did have to work. That isn't fair. What can I say? 
I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Our uncle's old. Come on. So much fun, I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Another gag mission, wow. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't Ooh, show me, you'll just, grouchy. just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Come on. The dog will soon sniff them out. Come on.
Get after him, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on him, Rufus. Come on, boy. You can find him, Rufus. I'm not gonna lie, I almost went for the dog. You jerk. Turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Have yeah, good luck with that. This is not going to be fun. And he's sleeping. What's new? Get up, old man. I, I am up. 
Get up! Bro, oh, clean off your oh. face. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. But where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. All right. looks over great. Let's take him out to the plane. Forward! Come on! Let's go! Hey! Yeah. We're getting there, I think. Move! Come on! No, no, no. Gotta stay with the herd, more important. The other two. Let's move here, my four legs. Did they die? That's it. Hmm. Oh, they must have got away somewhere. Oh well. Thirteen is better than none. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. 
You got your pound of flesh from me today. Yeah. Alright, so that is gonna be it for this episode. Um like I said, I am pretty sure we are close to being done. So probably within the next episode, maybe maybe two more, but I really don't see it. Be I might just finish it in the next one, no matter how long it takes. Um, so yeah, just make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when that posts. And remember, next week I should be starting a new series. Um, what was I gonna play? Oh yeah, Life is Strange, True Colors. Uh, it might be a week after, maybe like two more weeks, but it should be coming pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up.